Hey everyone, happy Friday. Hope you have had a good week. I know it's been a strange week, but I know it's been a good week too. Hey, as we enter the weekend, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, showings and property availability in MLS. I'm sure your sellers are asking some questions and I wanna make sure you have all the right information or good information. And also, I need you to be aware of some of the changes that MLS has made in order to help you and your sellers move forward. So is it really the right time to be changing your status in MLS, your listing status in MLS? So let's take a look. Well, when you have a listing and it's currently in the active status, just so we're aware that property is available for showings, it must be made available for showings in the active status. We know this is a concern to some sellers right now. Additionally, active and active contingent properties are the only properties that are syndicated to public facing websites. What that means is that when your property, when your listing is in the active or active contingent status, it will be shared with all those websites. That includes Zillow and Realtor.com, all the good websites out there. So you, do, you and your seller have to make a decision. Is now the time we want to make sure that it's out there or do we want to pull it back a little bit, your listing? If the property cannot be shown for three or more days, the MLS guidelines require that we move the property from active status to withdrawn status. Active status provides the greatest amount of opportunity for the public to see or be aware of your listing. So this is a discussion you have to have with your sellers and help them understand both sides, pros, challenges of what we're going to talk about not only being active, but moving into that withdrawn status. So in the withdrawn status, so that you're aware, when a property is in withdrawn status, it cannot be shown. So the property is not available for showings in the withdrawn status. Additionally, the sign needs to come out of the yard. So in other words, you can't leave the sign in the yard actively marketing that property as available. The property is pulled from the marketing avenues, from the public marketing avenues. That means it is not shared with public facing websites. Something to consider. Withdrawn status protects the listing terms though. So in other words, your listing is still a valid listing. It is an exclusive right listing. So the seller can't go list with someone else. Uh, you have the rights to that listing and we have the rights as the brokerage to that listing. Also, just so you're aware, the property can stay with the withdraw in the withdrawn status for an extended period of time. I'm sure some of you have probably seen this. A property sits out there in withdrawn status for quite a while. Um, and that's okay. MLS does not require that it only remain in withdrawn status for a specific period of time. However, the days on the market will stop accumulating when the property moves into withdrawn status. So could this be an advantage? Um, and it could possibly be an advantage, but please be aware, if the property comes out of the withdrawn status and moves into back into active status, the days on the market will include the withdrawn time period. So the time ticker will move right on and it will reflect the total amount of time, including the withdrawn status time. Now MLS is working to change that, but that has not occurred yet. If the property moves from withdrawn to expired, in other words, the listing itself expires. So if it moves from withdrawn to expired, it will only reflect the active days on market. So that time period when it was in withdrawn status will not be included in those days on the market. So I'm sharing some of this with you so that you're aware of what it means to be in withdrawn status and also because our MLS is reacting to the changes that are occurring in our market as it happens. So with a recent change in MLS, MLS is allowing us to leave a property in active status, so available for all the public facing websites and public marketing, even if the seller is refusing or would prefer not to have showings take place on the property. So what this means is that you can leave it in, legally leave it in the active status and not worry about uh, denying showings or compromising the request of your seller. The property does remain in that active status. However, the first line of the remarks must state the following. Due to the recommendation of social distancing to prevent the spread of COVID-19, this property will not be shown per the seller's request. This statement must be in the very first line of your public remarks if you're going to leave a property in active status and the seller has requested no showings. What this means is the property will still go out to public waste facing websites. 
This agreement must be in writing and between the brokerage and the seller. You would execute it, of course, on behalf of the brokerage. The new rule went into effect March 18th, so if you have a listing and the seller has expressed some concerns about showings, this may be a really great way to alleviate some of their concerns and keep your property actively being marketed. What I did want to share with you in addition to that new change is also some just, just some reminders about the status options that exist within MLS. Remember, a waiver of entry in MLS or for your listing in MLS just means that your seller does not want that property put into MLS. Can you still market the property and show the property? Yes, but it's a waiver. In other words, that you do not, you, know, must, you are not required to abide by the 24 hour notice of putting it into MLS once you have a listing agreement. Sometimes people use the waiver of entry for a period of time where your seller prepares your listing and then goes coming soon or active depending on how you and your seller have agreed to move forward in the marketing of the property. That leads me to the coming soon status. The coming soon still is available only for two weeks maximum. It may be extended by one week with the approval of MLS. However, please remember that showings are not available for those properties, for those listings, during the coming soon period. However, the property can be marketed, so you can market the property actively as a coming soon property. It does not go out to public facing websites. It is solely within MLS and available for realtors. And for a real, excuse me, for a consumer to see that property, a realtor must share it with that consumer. The days on the market for a coming soon property do not begin until that property goes active. So you're not clocking up days on the market by having it in coming soon status. <clears throat> Excuse me. Once a coming soon listing goes active, if it's expired, it cannot go back into MLS with the same associate and brokerage as a coming soon listing for a 45 day period. So you can't list a property for coming soon, have it go active, take it off of the market, expire it, and then within a few days, put it back on the market, incoming soon status again. So you would have to wait 45 days for the same associate and brokerage. Neither coming soon nor pended listings are shared on public facing websites. So just remember that they're not shared out to the public. All right, I just wanted to kind of remind you of a couple of things, uh, open your head up to some discussions that you may be wanting to have with your seller or ways to talk your seller through some of the changes that may be occurring and also respect their boundaries and guidelines. If you have any questions about any of this information, please don't hesitate to give me a ring at 904-537-6149. Uh, you can call or text me there or please don't hesitate to email me at cleblonde at cbvfl.com. Thanks and I hope you have a great weekend. Best wishes.